All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Chakurash, the one that's our elders and apostles of great meals, on that do it well, and salutations and blessings to you, I can push his word with true sincerity and charity. All right, today I would like to get into this quick lesson. I'm going to title it, Carnal Things Can't Save You. All right, man? Ain't not a carnal mindset, man. All right, not a carnal object. All right, none of those things can save you, man. All right, the only thing that's going to save you from what's to come, man. All right, for, hey, what is to come? All right, plagues, man. Death, destruction, man, a sword, man. All right, these things are about to come upon the earth, man. All right, and they at a at a, at a, at a um, on an extreme level. All right, a hey, Habashim al Shah is about to unleash all of his plagues and all of his anger, man. All right, upon this world, man. All right, so hey, the only thing that's gonna save you and deliver you from that is is the Habashim al Shah. All right, is spiritual things, man. All right, this word, man. All right. A hey, hey, trusting in Yahweh Bashim al Shah, trusting in his wisdom and his knowledge, man. All right, that's going to get you deliverance, man. All right, anything outside of that is going to get you a hey, jacked up by the Lord, man. All right, so any further ado, I'm going to jump to it. This is Jeremiah 17, verse 5. It says, Thus said, thus said Yahweh, Cursed be the man that trusted in man, and make it flesh his arm, and whose heart departed from Yahweh, right, man? So, hey, if you have any of those attributes, man, hey, curse be unto you, man. All right, meaning death and destruction, man. All right, from Yahweh Bashim al Shai, man. All right, because hey, hey, you can't trust in a man, man. All right, you can't trust in, in, in any man in this world, man. All right, you can't make, you can't make flesh your arm, man. Thinking that hey, 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 some that some fleshly and some carnal, all right, is gonna is, is, is gonna be able to deliver you from trouble, man. It's not, man. All right, only Yahweh Bashim al Shai can deliver us from trouble, man. All right, and the Lord delivers us from 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 all of our troubles, man. All right. Hey, it says, whose heart departed from Yahweh, right, man? Having that pride, man, all right? Hey, having that pride, man, to go and want to, hey, think up a, a thought a thought of your own, man, thinking that you can, you know, hey, get your get get your way up out of a situation, man, all right? That's, that's uh, dire, man. No, you got to trust in the Lord, man, all right? You got to put all of your chips into one basket, man. Yahweh about Shema Shai, man, all right? You can't trust in yourself, man, all right? And that the Lord hates someone that has a carnal mind, man. The Lord wants you to be fully sold on him, man. This is Romans chapter 8 and verse um, 6. It says, For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. All right, man? So, hey, the Lord wants you to have a spiritual mind, man. All right? That's true life, man. That's peace, man. All right? Hey, holding on to these laws as commandments, man. All right? It says that wisdom and knowledge is going to be the stability of our times, man. All right? This wisdom and this knowledge, all right? The, uh, these spiritual things, man, is going to keep us faithful unto you. How about Shemal Shai, man? All right, but hey, having a carnal mind, man, hey, 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 I'm gonna keep going. It says, because the carnal mind is enmity against Yahweh, for it is neither subject to the law of Yahweh, neither indeed can be. All right, man, because hey, you're gonna do your own thing, man. Are you, you're not gonna lean towards Yahweh, Bashim al Shai, man. You're, you're not gonna trust in the Lord, man. All right, you're gonna, you're gonna think of carnal thoughts, man. All right, fleshly thoughts, man, to get you up out of a, 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 a situation, man. All right, that is coming down from on high, man. It's not going to happen, man. All right? A gun is not going to save you, man. All right? A group of niggas can't save you, man. Only Yahweh Bashim al Shai can, man. All right? And what's, what's about to come to this earth? You're going to need spiritual protection, man. It says, so then, they that are in the flesh cannot please Yahweh, right, man? The Lord doesn't deal with someone that has a carnal mind at all, man. If you have a carnal mind, man, the Lord ain't dealing with you, man. All right? And if you're thinking to take things into your own hands, man, taking down Esau, Edom, man. All right? A fight against... Uh, um, you know, all this death that's going to be out here, man. Hey, the sword is going to be, is going to be running rampant, all right, throughout the earth, man. All right, I mean, hey, these niggas going to be hey, having a good old time, man, killing each other, man. All right, wiping each other off the face of the earth, man. All right, and hey, the only thing that's going to protect you from that is the Lord, man. All right, that's why it says this, Proverbs 3 and verse 5. It says, trust in Yahweh with all thine heart, all right, man. Putting all your chips into one basket, man, with all your heart, man. All right, your mind, man. All right, every thought process should should, should go straight to your how about Shemal Shai, man. All right, and you should pray to the Lord, man, for a hey, everything that you do, man. All right. It says, "Lean not unto thy own understanding, and in all thy ways, us like it's, yeah, and in all thy ways, acknowledge Him, and He shall direct thy paths." All right, man. Acknowledge your how about Shemal Shai, man. All right, before anything that you do, man, acknowledge the Lord, man. All right, He's gonna direct your path, man. All right, and you pray to the Lord, man, when you leave the house, man. All right, ask Yahweh Bashim al Shai to hey, keep you, man, in all of your goings, man. All right, hey, help you make the correct decisions, man. You know, 
Because, hey, man, our, 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 our mindset, man, our thoughts, man, are nothing but carnal, man. All right? The scripture say that this flesh profited nothing, man. All right? Yeah, that's uh, John 6 and 63, man. This flesh profits nothing, man. All right? That's why we got to trust in Yahweh Shem al man. Trust in the spirit of the Lord, man. It says, be not wise in all thine eyes. Yeah, be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear Yahweh and depart from evil, right, man? Don't be wise in your own eyes, man. All right? It tells you in the book of Amos, the fifth chapter. That, um, you know, I'm just grab it. Not Amos, but uh, Isaiah. It's Isaiah 5 and verse 20, uh, 21. It says, Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. All right, man. The Lord said, Woe unto someone that that, that has a, 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 a mindset, all right, that, hey, they're, 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 that they're wise in their own eyes, man. They don't need the Lord, man. All right? Hey, you you, you think that you're going to, you know, fight Esau, eat him on your own, man. All right? You think that you're going to get up out of a, a dire situation on your own, man. All right? It's not going to happen, man. All right? Because, hey, all things are controlled by Yahweh Shem al The Lord wants you to be destroyed, man. In the situation, you're going to be destroyed, man. All right? The Lord wants you to be a hey, star. If the Lord wants you to starve to death, that's going to happen, man. All right? Hey, you got to trust in the Lord, man. All right? Don't be wise in your own eyes, man. Acknowledge Him in all of thy ways, man. Yahweh Shem al is, is the key, man. The key to escape that judgment, man. This is um, Psalms 118. And verse 6, it says, Yahweh is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? All right, man? The Lord is on your side. What can a man do to you, man? All right? What can a carnal thing do to you, man? All right? Because, hey, hey, Yahweh is going to save us. He's going to deliver us from all of our troubles, man. All right? Anything, any situation that we put through, man, the Lord has put you through it, man, because he knows that you can get through it. All right? He knows that you're, that you're going to have enough faith in him, man, to get through it, man. So it says in verse 7, Salakia so says, Yahweh taking my part with them that help me. Therefore shall I see my desire upon them that hate me. It is better to trust in Yahweh than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in Yahweh than to put confidence in princes. All right, man. Hey, put confidence in carnal things, man. All right. Putting confidence in, in, in people you may know, man. All right. Hey, things that they may have, man. All right, hey, man, it's better to put that trust into Yahweh Hashem al because the Lord is never going to fail you, man. All right? The Lord is always is always going to be on our side, man. The Lord can always deliver out of any situation, man. All right? He said, hey, 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 I'm Yahweh. All right? Is there, is there anything too hard for me, man? All right? There's nothing too hard for Yahweh Hashem al man. The Lord can do whatever, man. All right? Whenever. All right? So it's Isaiah chapter 12 and 1. It says, and in that day thou shalt say, O Yahweh, I will praise thee. Though thou wast angry with me, thine anger is turned away, and thou comfortest me. It says, Behold, my sal uh, behold, Yahweh is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For Yahweh is my strength and my song. He also is become my salvation. Therefore, with joy ye draw water out of the wells of salvation. All right, man. So hey, Yahweh Shemal Shai has a salvation for those that trust in him, man. All right, for those that wait for him, man. All right. A hey, those that's not looking to their own, to, uh, looking into their own heart, man. All right, for answers, man. All right, hey, to get up out of this situation, get up out of that situation. No, man, you gotta trust in the Lord, man. All right, you gotta trust. Yeah, you gotta uh, trust in trust in the spirit of Yahweh Shemashah. You gotta trust in His words, man. You gotta trust in what the Lord has laid down for us, man. All right, hey, so that we can escape that evil day, man. You gotta truly trust in the Lord, man, with everything that you got. And this is um, Psalms forty four. And verse 5, it says, Through thee will I push down our enemies. Through thy name will we tread them under that rise up against us. All right, man? So, hey, not, not inside of your own uh, your own might, man. All right? Not the things that you can do. Not in, not in your own wisdom. All right? But, hey, through your Yahweh Hashem al through his name, man. All right? Are we going to are we gonna be uplifted, man? All right? And we're going to get those spiritual powers, man. All right? And the Lord is going to uh, guide us, man, in that day, man. All right. Hey, all we got to do is trust in the Lord, man. It says, for I will not trust in my bow, neither shall my sword save me. All right, man. Your sword can't save you, man. All right. Your might, your own might cannot save you, man. It says, but thou has saved us from our enemies and has put them to shame that hated us. All right, man. Hey, Yahweh Bashem al has done this, man. All right. Not a carnal thing, man. All right. Not something that you have done on, on, on your own will, man. But hey, through the will of Yahweh Bashem al man. All right. Through trusting the Lord, man, we're going to be delivered, man. All right? So, hey, this is Psalms 9 and verse uh, 9. It says, Yahweh also will be a refuge for the oppressed, 
a refuge in times of trouble, right, man? You read in Psalms, the 91st chapter, man, all right? The Lord said that we're going to abide under his shadow, man, all right? The Lord is a, a the Lord is that refuge, man, all right? The name of Yahweh Shema Shah is a strong tower, man. We're going to run into it in that day, man, all right? And they, as it says in that scripture, man, we're going to be saved, man. We're going to be delivered, man, all right? We're going to be protected, man, through Yahweh Shema Shah, man. So it says, and they that know thy name will put their trust in thee, all right, man? Those that know the name of Yahweh Shemal Shah, man, they're not gonna they're not gonna let it go to waste, man. All right. As it says in uh Sirach, the 17th chapter in the 17th verse, man. All right, the elect shall praise his name, man. All right. The elect is gonna praise the holy name of Yahweh Shemal Shah, man. Hey, we know the name of the Lord, man. We're gonna put our trust into it, man. All right, with everything that we get, man, with all of our heart. It says, For thou, Yahweh, has not forsaken them that seek thee, all right, man. The Lord is never gonna forsake us, man. He has never forsaken anyone that trusted in him. The Sirach. 2 and 10, it says, look at the generations of old and see, all right, man, you can read through all, all throughout the scriptures, man, all right, and see, did ever any trust in Yahweh and was confounded, or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken, or whom did he ever despise that called upon him, all right, man, so anyone has done a will of Yahweh, Shema, Shema, man, all right, anyone has a, a laid their life down for the Lord, man, all right, put all of their trust into Yahweh, Shema, Shema, man, they were never confounded, they were never forsaken, man, they were never despised by the Lord, man, all right? The Lord always looked out for them, man. The Lord always protected them, man. All right? And guess what, man? How much more in these times, man? All right? At the end, man, when Yahweh Shema is about to show his full glory, man. All right? And, man, we got to truly trust in the Lord, man, and know that he is going to save us, man. All right? He is going to deliver us, man. So our praise and lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechah Kodash, the one that's our elders and apostles, a great meal, son, and do it well. The salutations and blessings to you, I can ask pushing his word with true sincerity and charity. Shalom and a Bob a ball.